basically um, my uncle was actually babysitting for me. He was going down, he was supposed to be coaching kids and stuff and then uh, I tagged along, I played mainly football and the Irish sports and then uh, I just kept watching and then I was like I, uh, I want to give this a go and I want to play and uh, actually Nicola Serpentine, one of the coaches who used to be here, um, she saw me at the Welsh Open. I actually hadn't played for a while and then I came back from injury and stuff. Um, wasn't sure how it was going to work out if I was able to still train full time and stuff with my body and stuff but then uh, she put it to me to come over here and I took a chance and came over and yeah, luckily it paid off. The pros are that you get a good training environment, uh, everything is structured for you so you don't have to think about what am I going to do today blah 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 then you just have the coaches are deciding everything. Uh, not everything but most of it. I wouldn't say I particularly have a favourite but I think that all of the facilities are are quite high quality. I think like the gym we're staying in or working in uh, is really really high high uh, high quality. And then we also have the the A courts we have are also really good. The floor is really nice. And then we yeah, I think all of it in general is very very good overall. No, sadly, <laughs> I think because the badminton Europe Centre is all primarily speaking English, then it didn't put me out of my comfort zone. But when I was in the clubs and stuff. Of course, if I was there more often, then they would expect me to speak Danish, but the fact that I've only been there maybe once a week, you don't get enough of a chance to learn it, so unfortunately not. Um, watching series, listening to podcasts, um, yeah, just relaxing, going out for food, going for coffees, going, seeing a little bit of Holbeck in Denmark and stuff, and yeah, just generally hanging out with friends and stuff. The Olympics is one, but then the All England would be, would it be the high, one of the higher ones after? Mm-hmm. No, I haven't. Uh, Rafa Nadal or Tiger Woods or um, I like Indian food quite a lot. So when when I get to get a chance to get a good Indian, I I love it. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Every time I have a coffee, I need to have like a a Danish pastry or something with it. So that's generally my guilty pleasure. Um, chasing the sun. Uh, it's it's the darts anthem. They play a lot in the darts at the start of it. That's probably one of the best songs I think you could ever enter to. I'm after stalling and, and answering, but I think that actually annoys me a little bit. If, <laughs> if people are are like, duh, duh, and they can't answer the question straight up, I think that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> Bottle of water and some food. I don't know. <laughs>